everybody, my name is Sonal. I'm with Sonal J. Shaw Event Consultants in New York City. I've been a wedding planner for 18 years and we've done weddings at the most picturesque destinations around the world. And I'm so excited to be on Vogue Weddings and taking over the Instagram. So please ask me all the questions because I'm so excited to be able to answer these for you. Budget questions are terrific, and as far as how much to spend on your wedding planner for a three-day Indian wedding, I recommend anywhere between 5 and 10% of your overall budget. Um, my favorite part of the cultural aspect of an Indian wedding, there's actually two. I love the first look. I know it's not super cultural, but I love it when the groom sees the bride for the first time, and it's just so magical. I get so emotional about that. My second favorite part of an Indian ceremony is the Vidai, which is the giving away of the bride from her family to his family. And it's just so emotional. It's such an emotional part of the ceremony that I really love the fact that she's starting her new life with his family. As far as an Indian ceremony, it's hard to answer how many parts there are because that really depends on what part of India you're from and also what your priest or your pandaji is telling you as far as how many steps are required. My favorite aspect of Indian weddings is really the decor. I love getting to know the couple and creating something magical with our decorators who are phenomenal for them. Outdoor weddings are really important, especially right now, everybody's having them. The most important thing is even though the outdoors is a beautiful backdrop to your decor, your guest comfort is everything. Make sure you have plenty of water, Evian spray mist, the parasols, do coverings. I mean, people need to stay really cool, especially outdoors. And of course the weather is a factor, so you have to think of backup plans. As far as contingency plans, obviously they're super important and as a planner, that's all we're about is contingency plans, but you really wanna start putting 2022 dates on hold now before other people do. I've done so many weddings, it's hard to pick one that's my favorite. Um, after doing 1,800 or so weddings, I think the most memorable is Lake Como, Italy. It was an international wedding. There was a ton of work to do. I went to Italy almost every month for that plan. Um, and it was pouring in the morning and they had a beautiful ceremony in the afternoon. So that was definitely memorable. And of course, all the celebrity weddings that always add a twist to everything that we're planning. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you Vogue Weddings for having me. I loved answering your questions and please follow us at SJS Events.